Good afternoon, good morning, good evening, welcome, wherever you are in the world, whatever time it is, welcome to the West Coast of Canada. I'm Cranky Old Dude, and I stream live seven days a week, 10 to 16 hours every single day. And we're back at it. We're, we're into the teaching stream here. Yeah, we are. We're in the classroom, folks. We are teaching people oxygen not included. This is episode number two. Welcome to the stream. In today's episode, we're going to show you things that Cranky's going to do that you're probably going to want to avoid because the best way to teach someone is show them the things not to do and why not to do those things. But we're also going to show you some things that Cranky does that may or may not help you as well. So I hope you enjoy the stream and I hope you enjoy the series. And if you're watching this later on YouTube, don't hesitate to go down to the video description and pop on over to our Twitch channel, say hi, tell us where you came from, tell us what you thought of the video, um, and even if I'm doing a different game, because I am a variety streamer, even if I'm doing a different game, don't hesitate to ask your questions about Ani. I don't mind. I am not going to bite your head off. I am going to be there for you, absolutely be there for you. So don't hesitate. Pop on in and say hi. Thank you, everybody, and let, let's get it started here. And I see a bunch of people in my chat already. Who's kicking around? I see Jittery. Thank you for that sub, my friend. 17 months, my friend. Has it been 17 months? Holy cow. Jittery. 17 months, buddy. Thank you very, very much, my friend. Kai in the house. Val in the house. Snokey's in the house. Everybody's here. How y'all doing? All right, let's 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 resume the tater tots. Let, let's go see what we got into. Because we got into some shenanigans a little bit last time. Not too, too bad. But, you know, the, the, these things can happen a little bit. Um, the dupes will be as dupes will be. All right, so we are in cycle two. Not very far in. Um, we just got started. We had just built our washrooms. We had just built our um, barracks. And they haven't even finished the barracks. I mean, they're just getting started in life. Um, and I'm already thinking and planning for our electrical room. Um, I, I really don't like doing it in where I'm going to be having my main base of operations. But given our situation... And if we look at our heat map here, I'm going to probably want to take it up a little bit higher, but not by much. Maybe one more room's worth of height here. Um, I'd like to take it all the way to the top there, but the slime stuff prevents that. It's more of a problem than um, I, I, I'd like. Um, it, it's not going to kill your dupes. The slime lung is never going to kill your dupes. Um, it's going to give them negatives for about, I don't know, two minutes or so. Uh, and it's it's somewhat problematic. But it, it's really not that big of an issue. Um, the animation is a little bit unsettling, but eh, it, it's all good. They're, they're not physically going to die, and it's not physically going to cause them loss of health points. So... Overall, I think it's more of an inconvenience than anything else, slime lung. Uh, that being the case, I still don't want my base riddled with it. So um, I might go up one more section, but I'm probably not. I'm probably going to seal this off at the top and then um, use this section here as where I'm going to start my thermal layer of protection. Um, which would be a good idea because then I can put my um, I, I can put my power unit up there. Um, as soon as possible. I want to get that started ASAP because as soon as I get that started, um, get the research started and uh, working towards the insulation, then I can seal off the base and have it preventing the heat that's coming in from the sides because you're, you're going to see the heat is it, coming in. It's, it, it's right here. It's not far off. Um, it, it really isn't. It looks like it, it, it's all beautiful here, 23 degrees, but look at this, 32 degrees. You do not want that heat in your base. You really don't. Um, it, it's not going to make your life very enjoyable. It's really not. When, when you see reds, yellows, those those are not good. You want to see the green. So we're going to go down south for, for the building of our base. We're going to dig down for it. Um, but we do also have to pay attention to the slime lung stuff. So let's take a look at our slime. Um, it, it looks pretty clear down south. Up north, not so much. So that's where our, our issue is going to come in here. So uh, let's get it started and see what we can do here.
Okay, so if you got any questions, don't hesitate to ask them in chat. I will do my best to be as responsive as possible. Uh, this is a teaching series. Okay, so on the right-hand side, last time we started, um, we went over all the various uh, menus, overlays, that sort of thing. But we really didn't go into this section here, the resource section. So as we started mining up the land around us and hollowing out this asteroid that we're flying through space in, our, our impromptu spaceship here, it starts populating items into this resource list and it puts new beside them because, well, they are new resources for us. Now, we can clear that new list. Now you don't see anything in the resource list. However, if you click on see all, now you can designate what resources are going to be tracked in this resource list. And that's kind of useful. You want to track certain resources. I do anyways. Dirt is definitely one of them for me. Uh, I'm scrolling down the list here. Uh, the metal ores, yes. The algae, yes. Um, I'm going to say the raw minerals for now, yes. Because um, I, I do want to be cognizant of where my my numbers are on those. It's, the sand, you do, but you don't. I mean, we should have sufficient sand that I shouldn't need to track it. Um, the eggs and stuff, not such a big deal. The coal, I'm not going to be using for generation for a while or steel production for a while. So I don't feel it's a big number for me to need to track right now and clutter up this side of things. So I'm going to leave it there. That's what I'm tracking. That's it. Um, diagnostic data. Let's look at this. What do we want to track on this side of things? Um... Well, I think it's it automatically tracks them as they happen. Uh, let's take a look. Breathability. Yeah, so when, when you have issues, it's going to pop up into the diagnostic data on this side of it. It's not something that I'm going to check off, per se, by the looks of it. Okay. All righty. Let's, let, let's see what our dupes are doing here. Um, looks like they're working on the building side of a couple different things. A little bit of digging. This digging here we set up so that we could do a impromptu power generation facility. Um, and I don't want to dig up this one piece of copper ore here because it's right beside that oxalite. Oxalite um, off gases oxygen. As it does, it loses weight. It loses matter. Now, the more surface area that's exposed means the more that's off-gassing. And the more, the, the quicker the matter is uh, deteriorating, the faster you're, you're losing it. So I don't want to dig this up and expose another side to it and have it happen even faster. I'm just going to let it happen naturally. Uh, if you dig the oxalite up itself, you're going to lose 50% of its mass as well. That's another thing you want to avoid. Just let things happen naturally, folks. Look at this up here, the, the oxalate up here. I'm not touching that stuff. It it was already exposed on these two points. I am not going to expose it further. I'll let it naturally erode and disappear. I want to clear out that area. Trust me, I really do, but I'm not going to touch it. I'm going to let it go. Same with this oxalate. I'm going to let it go. Um, that's my oxygen generation for now because I don't have an oxygen generator, as it's telling you right here with this warning. Uh, we need to dig this up, build some power generation so we can get researching done to make um, a new oxygen machine discovery. And that is going to be our terrariums, our algae terrariums. Those are going to be key for our production. A lot of people prefer to use the existing tech you start with, which is oxygen diffusers. I'm not a big fan of these, and I'll tell you why, and I'll show you why. The effects. Look at the heat generation. 1.5... Uh, KDTUs. That is a heck of a lot. Uh, that's 1.5 thousand dupe thermal units. That's a hell of a lot, dude. That That is no joke. Also, on the positive side, though, it produces 500 G per second of oxygen. That's a lot of oxygen. On the negative side of this, look at how much power it takes and look at how much algae it uses. That is a hell of a lot of algae. Now, remember this, th these numbers here, because when we get the next technology, I'm going to show, compare the two of them to you, and you'll see why I don't use the diffuser unless I absolutely need to. All right, so we're not going to touch that sucker. 
Now I'm going to start things up and I keep it on slow mode when I'm teaching so people can see how things are going and if something happens we can recover from it quicker. We can see what's going on and we can adjust and respond in an efficient manner so that we don't have uh, things start to cascade and snowball out of control and we lose our dupes and or our colony in general. Now you see that open space above the beds there? Normally I'd have them with dig orders to dig that up, but I'm going to let that go for now. We'll dig that up in a little while. They've got other dig orders I want to watch them do first. Welcome Cry, and uh, thank you Snoky, for your lurk. Val, you did a save before you made a... Uh-oh, Val, did you have some problems? I hope you didn't. Last I left you, you, you were saving and going to continue on. I hope everything went good for you. All right, see you in a bit, Snoky. Have a good day at work. And to all my Canadian friends out there, happy Thanksgiving weekend. And I hope you all have a safe and enjoyable time this uh, this this holiday weekend. And remember, uh, the, the point of days like this is to uh, be thankful for what we have. And be cognizant of uh, others out there not being so fortunate as ourselves. Uh, maybe do a, a random act of kindness for a complete stranger today. Uh, that would be great. That really would. Because you don't know what everybody's going through every day. You don't know before they ran into you what kind of day they've had, what kind of week they've had, what kind of month they've had. Maybe that one random act of kindness is going to be um, just that game breaker for them and just make everything okay again for them. And, or at least bearable, because life is hard, folks. We all know this. So, you know, just if you can, try to do that random act of kindness for somebody. Not for yourselves, but for them. Okay, Val is saying, nah, just that the way I continued on wasn't very sensible from what you've said already. So, looking forward to reloading and doing it properly. Well, hey, there is no right or wrong way. There, there's, there's, if you're having fun and you're learning, that's all that really matters. Crichton says uh, they love this game, but they suck at it. Well, Crichton, that's why we're doing this, this teaching series to help people uh, better manage and better understand the game and have more fun with it because this game cranky loves and i want you to find the love in this game because it's that cool of a game all right so this sand came down we want to dig that up so we're going to click on that and make him go start digging there um now we can finish hollowing out this because the oxide disappeared from here it evaporated that whole level might as well it even did up here perfect uh, problem with this is gonna be a little bit harder to do that with but that's okay we'll, we'll, we'll get to how we'll deal with that in a second um, while it's prepping for that we're gonna plan out our generation facility building I do at a priority level of six okay so we're gonna plan this one two three Four. That's a lot, right? Well, you don't really need four at the beginning. You probably only need two. But 
Cranky likes to plan for the future. See that? That's planning for the future. Um, that's going to create a crap load of heat for our limited use, but it, it, it honestly is better because you're going to spend less time on the on the hamster wheels, as we call them, by doing it this way. Alrighty. So now wiring things. Everybody likes to do these and approach these things differently. Um, some people will do it like this. They'll, they'll run it down like this and they'll go, oh, I don't know. Like that. And there's nothing wrong with doing it like that. If you want to do it like that and that's how it works for you, great. I'm not going to bitch at you for doing it that way. Not at all. The only problem I'm going to point out when you do it this way because it's dirt underneath there and not tile, they're going to hollow out the dirt and then place the wire. So everything that's above it is not going to fall down and break or anything. It's just not going to be functional until you put tile underneath. Be cognizant of that. If you're okay with that and, and all is good in the world in, in your eyes, then keep going. Keep, keep playing away at it. Keep plunking away. Next, we're going to plan out um, the lay of the wire this way. Okay, now we're going to get to a station, which is our research station. Um, kind of like having it right there, actually. We're going to put it there. Uh, what's going to be on this side is another station, and that's why the wire, I, I was going to extend that far. Um, We're not going to get there right away. I'm going to hold off on that order. I'm going to cancel part of that order. Uh, power wires. There we go. We'll bring up our overlay so that we can see our power wire over. There. Gone. Remember how before when we did our power overlay there was nothing visible? Now look at it. There's stuff visible because we're actually using it. And we're actually putting stuff out there to be seen and to mess with. So next time you click on your power overlay, you'll, you'll start seeing things. Whereas if we, for example, look at our ventilation overlay, there's still no real ventilation here that's highlighted. It, it, there's nothing there. Same with our piping overlay. Nothing's highlighted. However, you go back over to this and it, it becomes highlighted and targetable again. All right. So this uh, wire, let's move this, make it connect up to our research station. And that is completed. That You send them off to do their business, they're going to do their business. And that's what we want. Um, the next thing I want to look at is the tile here. Um, I'm going to plan out the build on the tile. Just because I know what's coming. Cranky knows. And I'd rather get it done. Now I'm going to leave this open just for air circulation purposes. And we are going to take a ladder and we are going to build the ladder right here and here we're going to be taking it further down uh, we want to get down to this water pretty quickly and start moving the water but I don't want to give them too much tasks because it's going to distract them with the limited workers we have uh, from doing what we want them to do we want them focused on these tasks and doing these tasks as quickly as possible so they uh, start doing the research as quickly as possible Oh, a sleepy time for Snokies? Okay. Okay, so Val's saying, uh, same to Crichton. You manage to get to a certain point, then everything comes crashing down. So it's nice to see someone play who has a clue. Oh, <laughs> Cranky doesn't necessarily have a clue. I, I am not the, the expert on the game. I, I know a few things, and I'm just trying to help some other people out there in the world with a few little tips and tidbits. But, um, you know, Cranky's not perfect. I make mistakes all the time in this game. I'm learning every time I play it. And I think you're going to find that that's a common theme in this game. You're always learning. And um, even from your mistakes, you're learning. And I, I, I think it's a bonus, and it's a good thing. And I hope you enjoy your, your process with this game.
So I hope you uh, two are feeling very uh, a lot better there, Val and Kai. Um, I, I, I know you've been a little bit under the weather lately. Well, a lot under the weather, and I, I hope today is a better day for you both. Kai, start eating. Don't make Cranky start putting food images on the screen. I will do this. You've seen me do it before. Don't make Cranky be the bad man here. Go eat something. Kai, I'll do it. I'll do it, man. Oh, no. Your AIO died. Oh, no. Crichton, how old was your AIO? Six or so years? Okay, that, that makes sense. I was going to say, if it's within a year or two, that's, that's pretty quick for it to go. It is pretty harsh. It is. Um, time for an upgrade, my friend. Time for an upgrade. Okay, so these hamster wheels, as we like to call them, the treadmills, manual generators, I am going to set a high priority for them because I want them using this and recharging the batteries as a high priority uh, because we need that power. So... Um, that's for me going to be up there power, uh, priority level wise. If we look at our current priority levels, um, the highest priority is currently is for food gathering, washrooms, and and food storage. That's where our high priorities are. Um, you do not want them running out of uh, bathroom facilities. That's just a non-starter. You do not want that. Um, is power generation more important than those? No. I'm going to try sticking it at a 7, and we'll see how it goes. I agree with you, Kai. It, it's strange that it didn't shut down... Um, uh, ...when it hit that thermal temp. It should have. Yeah, but, you know, probably by February, the prices should have dropped sufficiently, right? I'm just going to say cry, okay? Because um, I keep wanting to say Crichton, too. Um, so, cry. Um, by February, the prices should have dropped out of the, out of the stratosphere of Christmas season. And you should technically be able to get a decent price on things although given the capacitor shortage in the world uh, decent is you know <laughs> that is a malleable thought um, what we thought was decent say five years ago is not what you're going to expect uh, let's just hope it, it's not ridiculous and you have to mortgage the house a second time third time fourth time just for a computer and um, hopefully you'll, you'll get a decent one. And there we go. Okay, so now 
our power circuit's done. They're able to set up for some research. Let's let's make the priorities on, on these go up to sevens. There we go. They are set for sevens. We're even going to set the machine for a seven. Although, to be fair, um, our researcher, let's put it for a nine, because I want them researching that before before them doing any other task. Okay, now research. First thing we want them doing is this one right here. This is my first choice on research. Basic farming. Why? Because it's got the algae terrarium. This terrarium is an oxygen producer, and it's beautiful. It is beautiful! And it gains a 10% efficiency boost in direct light. That is a very, very important thing to take note of, guys. I rarely use light in, in my builds, but I think this build, I'm going to use light just to show you the effect of that particular thing. Okay, so we've given them all the orders for doing this that they have. Um, let's give them some new dig orders here. Let, let, let's tell them to finish this off. That's important. Um, we're going to now start thinking about expanding and dealing with the water issue, maybe. Um, kind of, maybe. Let's, let's clear that out first, and we'll see where we go from here. Um, normally, I expand a lot quicker than I am right now. I'm, I'm, I'm debating how I'm going to do things this build. Because if I get a little bit too redonkulous, um, it takes a lot longer for me to do the thermal shielding. Okay, so you see the power on those uh, batteries is full up. Alright, so we should now start to see some research get done here. There we go. Yeah, Cry, I, I am an ex-network guy myself as well. I used to build them all the time, but my arthritis and my eyesight has gotten to the point where um, I just get them custom done now at this point. Yeah, it's from, you know, pulling all that wire through um, overhead areas and everything else. Um, yeah. And also car accident and some physical uh, chronic conditions I deal with. Uh, cranky, cranky's broken. Um, I deal with fibromyalgia, chronic arthritis, uh, chronic nerve damage from car accident, um, memory issues. It, it's, it's a smorgasbord of issues. Cranky's just broken. So we're going to build a pitcher pump here so that um, we can get some water happening for um, our bathrooms here. Now, I really hate making them walk on water. I really, really do. Because they always complain about it. They honestly do. Um, so what I'm probably going to do is maybe drop this down a little bit to there. And 
make them dig that up like that. Okay, and then we're gonna go like this. And run the tile across there so that they can run across that and jump on here and not have to deal with the water directly on their little toesies because, you know, dupes don't like being wet, right? So, um, and if I cancel that dig, actually, let's, let's re really think about this. Cancel that dig. Cancel that dig. And even this dig for, for a moment, only for a moment. And then take this tile and go like this, like this. that that whoops fix that in a second this is only temporary oh come on um yeah that should be oh that's why i had to canceling power wires we're not canceling power wires okay so what's gonna happen here what i'm planning for is the water to stay in this area Eventually, I will dig it in and bust it down into these spots. But to be fair, this water is probably going to be used up before I get to that point anyway, just on research and maybe on our bathrooms. So we're going to get them to build this little box here to keep the water in, we hope. Um, we really, really hope. Let's Let's cancel the the actual dig on the ladders even and just see how it goes with this build in this way um, it should work out that way but it might not I might have to do a little bit of mopping we'll see um, this here this this bright light coming out of the printing pod this on cycle three and every three cycles tells you that there's something waiting here for you a new blueprint so click the choose a blueprint and now you're offered one of three dupes or a item to select to come out of that uh, printing pod. Now notice how you don't get to re-roll these dupes. This is it. This is how they come. The, you you got to accept their nastiness or not accept them. You can reject all if you wish. That is up to you. Ah, uh, cry. Uh, sounds like we're all broken in some way. Um, yes, very true. And um, let me scroll up a bit. I think I missed a couple things here. Um, yes, everybody is saying they're broken to some degree. Yes. Um, Bao saying she actually started watching Cranky because of the whole chronic pain thing. And yeah, it, it's great for taking your mind off of it, Twitch, for sure. Uh, it keeps me for the same for the last five years in hospital beds. Oh, I'm sorry you went through that cry. That's not good. Uh, no fun, uh, Val is saying. I normally don't get much in the way of warning when I'm going to be admitted, but I now have a laptop that will come in with me so I can keep up with gaming and Twitch. That's excellent, Val. That is. Yeah, for me, um, I, I stream as a form of distraction therapy to help me manage and cope with chronic pain. Um, I, I don't do this to get famous. I don't do this to be rich. I, I do this to help mitigate my pain, tell other people that this does work as a form of distraction therapy to help with chronic pain and, um, you know, to meet new people and promote a safe, welcoming, inclusive environment in Twitch for people as well. Uh, my channel, you are all welcome in. You, this is a safe place for you. Uh, this is an inclusive place for you, and uh, you will notice that if people come in and they try to cause issues, they will be quickly dealt with by either the mods or myself. Um, I am a very easygoing individual. I, I do not get cranky very often. If I do get cranky, it's, um, you know, well-deserved. Uh, I'm a pretty level-headed individual, and um, I, I like to think that I approach things on an even keel and with a focused mind so uh, hopefully you guys won't see too much of that unless you know some idiots come in and, and start causing problems all right let's let's start looking at these duplicates we got ruby here ruby's a doctor and a farmer and a decorator well and she's really kind of handy with construction 
Well, I, I'm sorry, Ruby, but you snore. I'm really, really sorry, Ruby. You snore. I can't have a snoring person in my colony at the moment. Snoring people have to have their own separate room. Because when they go to sleep, they literally have shock waves that radiate from them that will wake up and disturb any other duplicate sleeping near them. Not good. So you're you're an X. You're you're not happening, Ruby. Blossom seed. I don't need seeds right now, especially those. Um, just don't need them. Uh, Gosman, what are you? Uh, supplying, farming, building. Oh, that's really good, actually. Those three. Uh, shrivel taste buds. Okay, what's that do? Let's look at this. That gives us a food morale plus one. Uh, they could lick a puffs backside and taste nothing. That that's a disturbing thought, but okay. And they have iron gut. They're immune to food poisoning. This is great. Shabby dresser. Oh, uh, yeah. They have a minus 15 decor because of their shabby dressing. Well, you know what? Uh, I'm, I'm, I'm actually okay with that. I really am. I, I might end up taking this one. Uh, Bert. What's Bert got? Digging and tidying. Both are really decent. Handy. Good with construction. I like that. Caregiver medicine. Um, yeah. Yeah. You know, Bert, um, yeah. You're not going to be a doctor. You're never, ever going to be a doctor. So this is a wasted bonus. Allergies. Allergic to floral scent. Again, this is not good. Um, if we ever start growing these bristle blossoms, um, they're going to put floral scents into the air, and this person's going to have issues. So I try to avoid the allergies as much as possible. So after looking at everything offered, I'm going to go for Gosman. It's the one I want right now. Especially considering I need farming. I, I need to start producing food. Okay. The dupe is in the world. Pause it. Go to your schedule. Put them on a schedule. Now, it's a, it's tossed into my first schedule here, which actually is fine for us. Because we had already dropped Raiden down to the second schedule with Junkie. So, Crichton needs a friend to hang out with. So, we're, we're, we're going to keep Gosman on the first schedule. That's okay. It doesn't have a nighttime uh, signifier, so it, it doesn't really matter that we leave it on the daytime schedule. I'm okay with that. I only have a maximum of four duplicates on any one shift. If I reach four, then I make a new shift. That's just how I deal with it. Skills. Gosman, you have a skill. Let's give it to you. What of our heart ones are we going to give you? We're going to give you farming. Why? Because it's going to be important to us. So you are the first person that gets to wear a hat. Hats are amazing things. Duplicates love their hats. Watch how happy this person gets when they actually get the beam of light hit them and they wear their hat for the very first time. Boom. They're getting some, some data downloaded into them. You can see that. They got a little circle on their forehead. And look look how happy they get. Look at, look, look, look. They're putting the hat on. Look at how happy they are. Look at this. Look. All right, Gosman. Get her done. Okay, next, I'm pausing it. We're going to go to priorities. We're going to give Gosman some priorities now. What is Gosman going to have for priorities? Well, here, let's look at this. Gosman is a farmer. Like, two pips up in farming. Um, not going to be for attacking. Life support? Yeah, sure. Toggle one. Doctor? No, you're not a doctor, Gosman. Tidying one. Uh, cooking, you're not a cook. Uh, decorating, you're not a decorator. Please, God, no. Researching, you're not a researcher. Operating, one pip. Ranching, um, that's not what you you do. So we're going to leave it as a flat line. Um, building? <sighs> yes, I will put one pip up on that. I'm hesitant to go there because that... Because that's going to take away from the tidying and the operating, which is really important for me with this dupe early on. In fact, I'm, I'm not going to put the one pip up. Later down the line, I will put a one pip here, but not right away. Um, the supplying and storing as well. 
because that's going to allow us to um, supply to our oxygen producers that we're going to have very, very soon here. Look, see, we're at 13 out of 15 on the researching. This is almost done. Now, um, click here and give him a bed. Or her or it a bed. Gosman now has a bed. All right, so pause. Now you see how we got a little bit of water up here? Remember how we talked about dupes not liking their feet wet? Yeah, let, let's kind of fix that. Mop up liquids. Priority, um, yeah, I can leave it at a five for this. Oh, you know what that sound is? That is the sound of a technology being researched, which means, because we only selected one, it means we've got nothing else to do. So we pause it and we start on another research. All right, where do we want to go next? Um, I'd like to take it to farming right away. I really would. Um, little hesitant to go there right away, but um, I don't necessarily think it would be a bad thing at the moment to have extra morale and give them extra work that way. Yeah, let, let, let's go to the farming. It's not my... You, you got a couple different ways you can go here for your start. You could go into the research on the power here to get better batteries. You could go over here to the water cooler and get the water cooler started. Uh, because then you're heading towards the uh, supercomputer, which will allow you to unlock the next tier of research. Um, you'll see how this has two different types of advancement bars under it, whereas this is just one. That is two different types of uh, research computers or research stations. Uh, this is just your standard basic research station. And under the blue one, uh, sorry, the pink one here is a supercomputer. So you have to have both of them operating and being used to unlock these other technologies. Now, there is a lot of technology here to unlock and figure out. So don't get blown away and confused by it. Just work your way through it. Slow and steady wins the race on this stuff. Um, I'm actually going to hold off on that. I'm going to go for this one, actually, instead. We're going to go for the decor with the light bulb, because we need that light bulb for increased efficiency on our oxygen production. So that's the one I'm going to go for. We'll do farming afterwards. Next, we are going to actually do some oxygen production, because we can. Let's get that started. Problem with that is, and now we're going to discuss this, algae terrariums. Okay, so look at what it says here. Algae is 30 G per second. That's a hell of a lot less than the 550 G per second that the diffuser uses. That is ridiculously less. Look at the water consumption though. 300 G's per second of water. That, that's not too insignificant. When you have limited water, that is not insignificant. Carry that into your thought processes. It also produces polluted water. It produces 290.33 gallons per second of polluted water. So, most of the water used in the production of the oxygen is returned back to you. Currently, we do not have the technology to clean that polluted water and make it potable again to keep the process going. That being said, be careful with this early on. Um, you can you can fast track towards being able to do that, but it's going to take a while to get there. So um, you notice how my rooms have the bright blue on them. That means there's plenty of oxygen in them. There's no need for me to actually make an oxygen generation system yet. So I'm not going to yet. I am gonna I, I'm gonna tickle the dragon as it is. Um, I am going to be careful and I'm going to watch my oxygen levels and I'm going to put in a system when I need to put a system in. 
I don't want to start consuming water or an algae until I absolutely need to do it. It's, it's, it's a fine point on that, but how you play and how you decide to go is up to you. I'm going to hold off on it. But it's there. We can do it now. That's the key thing here. What else can we build now? Let's take a look around here. Um, ah, we can build a ration box. We can build a planter box. We can do a micro musher. Uh, produces low quality food using common ingredients. Uh, yes, it does. Do I ever really use these things? No, I, I it's just bad. Just bad. I, I feel so bad watching my dupes eat that stuff. I just do. Uh, nothing changed on the water side of it. Refinement. Now we can do composting. It will reduce the polluted dirt into regular dirt. So these outhouses produce polluted dirt. And now you can change that polluted dirt back into regular dirt. However, it produces heat. Look at this heat it produces, guys. The stored temperature, 75 degrees Celsius. Ow! Decor, minus 20. Ow! In a radius of four tiles. This stuff, you don't want near your dupe's normal pathing area. You just don't. I usually, I, I keep that stuff outside my base in a, in a big room where they can take care of it and not have too much of an issue. I, I just, early on, I'm not even going to mess with it. Um, okay, now we've got another issue, though. Medicine. We now have power. So we can start looking at putting a massage table system up. This is not a bad idea. This will prevent and reduce stress on your duplicates. This is my stress solution. When stress happens on your dupes, it will make this little brain icon in the upper left-hand corner um, have a percentile mark. And it will show you, when you hover over it, like I am now, which dupes have stress. At least the first couple, anyways. You can go under the vitals and you can look at all your dupes and see their levels. Currently, Gosman has 4% because Gosman came through the portal with 5%. That's going to just naturally disappear anyways. However, when I make the uh, massage tables and make a massage room, what's going to happen is I'm going to set thresholds. I usually set it for about 10%. When stress gets to 10% on any one dupe, they immediately get sent on a break down to the massage room to get a massage. Then they will not leave that room until their stress is zero. Then they will go back to work. And the cycle will begin again. If they hit 10, they go back down for the massage. So it makes it so that you never, ever have a high stress reaction from your dupes because you're, you've got it coped with via the massage tables. It is a perfect solution. It really is. And I hope you guys use it and realize how useful that's going to be for you. Having a high level of stress is uh, not a good thing for your dupes. Not, not at all. All right, so where are we going to stick this? Um, well, we can stick it right here. Why not? Make a massage room right here. Okay, so... There we go. Okay, so what I did there is I went over to the door, I clicked on it, and I hit B for Bob on my keyboard. And what that did is that took the item I had clicked on and had highlighted and put it on my mouse so that I could build it again in another location. That f makes things a lot easier and faster when you're doing your uh, plans for your building. So I do this a lot, and I, I'm not going to explain it very often. Um, I'm just going to say, you know, refer back to previous videos, I guess. But um, I try to bring note to it early on in the video series so you guys know what I'm doing and how easy it is to use this. And uh, just wondering why I don't go all the way over to the base icon, find it over here and click over it and do it that way. Because there's no need. There's already one built in the world. Boom, I hit B and it's, it's under me. I don't have to go all the way over to the left-hand corner, find it, click it, and it just saves steps and saves time. And this game is all about time management. It really is. Uh, 
everything you do with your dupes is um, in relation to that to some degree or another. You want to make sure you're being as efficient as possible with your duplicates. Now you notice how they're not doing the mop order, and I'll tell you why. Look at the priority level on the mop order. It's a five. Let's bump that up to an eight. Watch how fast it happens. Oh wait, nope. Clean. That's what it was. Once they're done their existing um, tasks, they will start doing their uh, reevaluate their orders list and they will come up and they will start doing some mopping. Those people that have the ability to do it. It all de depends on the priorities for their tasks. Take a look. Remember, these are your tasks, right? So who's got a tidying priority? Um, okay, there's only two dupes, Junkie and Gosman. Gosman, uh, Junkie's going to do researching first, and Gosman's going to do um, farming first. Well, he's off shift right now. So when he gets back on shift, he will come over and, and start tackling this, because we don't have any farming duties for him. This one is doing research, so unfortunately it, it's kind of tied up on that side of it. Uh, cry. Burnt with floral allergy. That is a terrible trait. It totally is. Uh, Val normally avoids it. Uh, Snelky, you can lose 100 off in real life hours to this game without noticing. You really can. Yes. Oh, hells yes. It's very easy to lose track of time in this game. All right, so let's start looking at medicine and start planning out our massage room. Okay, look at the light radius. Let's zoom out here a little bit so you can see what I mean. All right, so you see where it covers? That covers the massage table, sort of. Um, what I'm probably going to do is put it up higher. And we'll cancel that. We'll zoom out a little bit so we can see how much it affects things. That's a better area. That one light there will cover the those two tables. Perfect. That's where we're going to stick it then. And we can probably do another one right here. So that we can have four tables. We're never going to need four tables. I'll be honest with you. You really don't. But we're going to do it. RimWorld is your life-eating game. RimWorld, I understand. A lot of people like it. For whatever reason, it didn't appeal to me and didn't stick with me. Uh, maybe, maybe we'll see that change in time. Okay, now, just because we have lights does not mean we have light. We need to have power for these lights. And power for the massage tables. All right, now we're going to duplicate these massage tables. Put one here, put one here. We're going to put another flower pot right there. There you go. That is our, our massage room. research no research is being done whoops I didn't catch that in time all right so 
Next, go up here. We're, we're going to tackle the food thing because we want to start producing a... Uh, making a, another room. It's going to be the mess hall. So we get even more uh, morale bonuses. Oh, I agree with you, Kai. Back in the day, I used to spend lots and lots of time playing World of Warcraft. Okay, notice in the diagnostic section in the upper right-hand corner, we now have breathability pop up. And it's showing us where our oxygen levels are. Keep an eye on that, folks. When it starts to get low, that's when you want to start addressing your oxygen levels. Currently, it's all right. I can handle it. And each new bubble that I dig into is going to have oxygen in it as well. Some might even have oxalite. Wow, was a drug. Glad I detoxed, right, Cry? Toxic pig! A massage parlor pampering those early tubes. Gotta toughen them up. Oh, we got a pig in the house. Pig in the house! Technology advanced and they kept the same horrible graphics when games like Final Fantasy XIV were looking to spoil us. I just couldn't look at WoW's graphics any longer, although I loved the lore and felt very deeply attached to the personal growth of Azeroth characters. Yeah, no, I get it. Would love to see them redesign WoW in Unreal Engine 5. Oh, that, that would be great, except I, I have zero support factor for Blizzard. Zero. And uh, I have no problems explaining why. Um, in one word, Cosby. The Cosby Room. Um, research it. Look it up, and you'll know exactly what I'm talking about. When when I saw that, heard about that, I, I dusted my hands off, turned around, and walked away. That is something that um, crossed a line, and um, it, it, I will never go back to that company again, ever. Doesn't matter what game they produce. I will not touch them with a 10-foot pole. And that's just me. I'm not telling anybody else to be that way or react that way. That is my personal viewpoint on it. All right, so we got no more seeds that we can plant in here right now. So we've got two out of three plants planted. Um, I'm going to raise the number here to a seven just so they get planted pretty quick. Damage is done, Kai. Damage is done for me. Uh, but like I said, I don't expect anybody else to go that way. That is just me. I, I'm a, um, a cranky old dude, and I, I just, you know, you lose that 
that trust and that respect from me, it's gone. It's hard to earn that back. It really is. Oh, research done. That means we have done this and we now have an electric grill, we have an egg cracker, we have a mess table, and we have a farm tile. Wow, those are important things for us. All right, next. We want to start thinking about rushing towards our insulated tile. Where's the insulated tile? Well, let's look. Insulated tile's right there. That means we need supercomputers. So that's our next chore right there. Miss V! Welcome, Miss V. How you doing? What you see with my base right here, right now, is temporary. This is not the base that you're going to see in 300 cycles. This is not the base you're going to see in 1500 cycles. This is an ever-evolving, ever-changing, ever-growing base. It, there is going to be so many times where I walk in and I dismantle everything and start from scratch when it comes to the rooms. It happens a lot in your, your colony design and uh, lifespan. You're just going to naturally do these things. So don't take it bad. Um, and don't, just because you see my base looking a certain way, don't think that's how it's going to look in 300 seconds. Because it won't. It honestly won't. It's just how it looks right now. Uh, all right, let's look at our massage tables. Uh, break starts at, no, 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 no. It starts at 10%. All right, so now we're going to copy those settings. And we're going to apply them to all of those. So all the massage tables now, if we click on them, we'll have the break starts at 10. So any dupe that hits 10% on the sanity level, boom, they're going down for a, a massage and get that shit fixed right quick. Next, I want to put a light bulb over these wonderful things here. One there. One there. Same reason. Dupes work better under lighted conditions. Hey, no, Kai, um, I'm not punishing anybody. I, I'm just not supporting the company. That doesn't mean I'm punishing the people that are working there. I'm not physically going up to them and saying, for shame, for shame. And I'm not persuading other people to um, not buy their stuff. It's just me personally. I am not going to support them anymore. They've lost that with me. And it takes a long time to get that back. Um, it's, you know... It's tainted. It's tarnished in my eyes. And, y you know, you could throw out the people that did it, replace them, and put other people in their place, but it doesn't change the fact that the damage was done and the incident was done. And for me, that's enough. Um, it really is. And, um, and and that's not the only issue with me with Blizzard. Blizzard's got other issues that I've got issue with. Um, their handling of their community, for example. They have a very, very toxic online community and their customer service has been horrible absolutely abysmal for 16 years they don't give a crap about their customers all they care about is the bottom line and the money coming into their wallets that has been apparent since day one if they addressed the trolls and the toxicity within their community years ago they wouldn't have the situation that they do now but they didn't and that in of itself has propagated it further into other online communities because those those people felt empowered and emboldened because Blizzard didn't do anything. And they carried that on into other areas, other games, other communities. Um, and other companies saw Blizzard wasn't doing anything and it didn't drastically affect them or their bottom line. They themselves felt emboldened, empowered, and didn't bother addressing it either. Prime example, Activision, Rockstar. Um, these things are perpetuating a environment and a toxicity in the online community that um, just 
unacceptable for for me and a lot of people like me. So there there is more than just the Cosby Room incident with Blizzard for me. Okay, so now our dupes are looking like they're idle. Why are they idle? Because, well, they've done all the work I sent them to do. What's our breathability at? 90%? Good. Good. All right, so let's look at um, what do we want to do next? Well, uh, we want to build a mess hall. Okay, so let's do that. Where are we going to put the mess hall? Okay, so if we're going up here to make our our nature reserve, we are going to have it path this way. We can put the mess hall here. That's not going to be too, too bad. I don't want to go any higher than that, though. So that's as high as I'm going to take my building. So we're going to, we'll do the mess hall up here. Two, three, four, five. Take it across like that. Um, and now the reason I limit that is that that green slime stuff there. I'm trying to avoid that. Okay, so now if we look at our room overlay, where is a great hall? Great hall. It needs a 20 decor level in that great hall. It needs mess tables, uh, minimum size of 32, maximum size of 120, and a recreational building, and it will give us morale 6. Okay, so um, if we can get our decor high enough with potted plants, we can turn this into a great hall early on into the game. That's a little bit harder because uh, plants are, are, you know, a short commodity right now. We don't have the seeds. We haven't dug up a lot. But we can try to aim for that. So let's do this. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Let's do it that way and hope that that's going to be enough. It's probably not. So let me cancel one off each side. And that'll give us 12 spots in this mess hall. Um, that's 12 duplicates it will feed. Um, currently, we've only got four. So that that's, that's a lot. We should be okay on that. We hope. Okay, now I want to put in the furniture of the water cooler. Um, oops, that's got to be cancelled. There it is. Yoink. Okay, there we go. So hopefully this will be enough for that. One can hope. Um, do I need to go that high? I don't. So we could cancel this part of it. And lose a little bit of height off of it. I'm okay with that. Normally I, I wouldn't because I want the extra height to put in paintings and decor later. But this is not my final mess hall. So I'm, I'm just going to leave it like this and be happy with it and call it a day. Um, normally I would have lights, I would have paintings, I would have crown molding and all sorts of levels of decor to spruce it up. We're not worried about that early game. Um, actually, we're going to take it up one more level because of the plants. I actually have to take it this level. plants that's the only reason the plants currently these are only one one space but you never know I might end up with a plant that's two I don't know if there are any plants that are two but I'm thinking in advance just in case 
doubt that there are if I think about it. I think they're all just one one little box high. But let, let's just aim for you know that side of it just to be safe. Yeah, Blizzard was great in the um, early 90s, mid 90s. And then, you know, things started uh, going different direction. I agree with you, Kai. I do. Oh, you know what? They're not doing this. Why are they not doing this? This is a good example of me showing you not to do something that Cranky did. See, I built all this and planned it all out. They're not doing it. You know why? They can't get to this. There, there is no way physically they can get to start building this. Why? Because we haven't set any dig options for them to do it. Now they can do it. Watch. Now they're going to run off and start doing things. That is the seed that Val just linked out there for the world I'm playing on. If you want to play on this world seed, copy that seed down and use it. It's yours to use. There are three slush geysers in this world three that is amazing it's rare to get one let alone three okay well there were three at the time when i found the the seed they might have adjusted things a little bit in their um scheme of stuff i don't know it's been a while since i played it there might only be two now or what have you but i think it should stay and retain all the properties of the original one which was three slush seeds but it might only be two now. I can't remember. Um, I, I played it a while ago, not too long ago, and I think there was only two. I think they had lost one of the slush slush geysers, and it turned into a, a clean water uh, geyser instead, which is fine. I mean, it's 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 water. I got no problems with that. Um, it might have actually even been a polluted water geyser, but irregardless, um, or sorry, regardless, it's a water source, and this. This particular map has a lot of water sources. And the two slush geysers um, are cool water sources. And they are going to offer you cooling options for your base, which you're desperately going to need and want. Research done. Okay, what have we got? we got a supercomputer. Okay, now we want to click over here and plan through this pathing to get to our in insulated tiling. Okay, click off the research. Now we're going to put in our supercomputer. So we go to stations. Uh, supercomputer. Notice how I had just the right spacing for that? Funny that, right? Okay. Now, if we look at our power overlay, look at how much wattage is being used. It's got the potential for 1,060 watts. That's 60 watts over the maximum allotted for a circuit. On those wires it's got the potential to burn them out and cause damage to them if everything's being used simultaneously it's never going to happen because a lot of that power is coming from the massage tables we're we're not going to be using these for, for a long time and by then we'll have things covered and it's it's just not going to be an issue um, I would be very surprised if I caused any issues early on with that but it it counts and adds in everything on the circuit just in case I just realized this whole time I have not been in my Discord. I'm going to jump into my Discord. Val and everybody else, you guys are welcome to pop on in and chat with me while I'm doing this. Feel free. I'm sorry. I thought I, I, I was in it, and I just totally... I had a brain fart, and I never did. I am so sorry, folks. And again, if you're watching this on YouTube later, guys, don't hesitate to go into the video description and click on that link to Twitch and pop on over to our channel. Say hi. And, you know... Um, Bombard Cranky with some questions about oxygen not included. I will do what I can to help you. Just remember, I don't know everything when it comes to this game. As you see and watch and, and realize as I play this game. Uh, there, there is a limit to what Cranky knows and how good Cranky is at this. Now 
Now, the difference between the supercomputer and the research station is the research station uses dirt to function and uh, to do the research. The supercomputer uses water. So um, again, it's another thing that's eating up your water source. So you're using water in your sink, you're using water in the supercomputer, and then you will start using water in your uh, water coolers like we've got up there for our um, for our mess hall, as well as in um, the algae terrariums when we start using them. You see our breathability has dropped down to 79%. That's because our dupes are breathing in the oxygen and exhaling uh, carbon dioxide. Hi, Sammy. How you doing this morning? Welcome, Sammy. We are teaching people about oxygen not included. This is episode two of my teaching series in early game on uh, the standard game, not the DLC, with um, Terra as a base world. Oh my goodness, Sammy had Phasmo nightmares. I am so sorry, Sammy. Sammy plays a lot of Phasmophobia with Cranky and crew. So I am so sorry to hear that, Sammy. I've never had that issue myself. It's all Cranky's fault. Oh, no, no, no. Don't blame the crankies. Don't blame the crankies. Totally is cranky's fault. Totally is. Okay, so now we can add another morale room is in in here as well. Um, and I'm going to do it because it's not going to affect my plans for things. So we're going to build another room up top here. I am going to build a rec room and the rec room will give them another room bonus, but it will also give um, a morale bonus to our dupes. And for a rec room, what do we need? Let's go down and find out. Recreation room. We need a recreation building. We need no industrial machinery. We need a decor item and a minimum size of 12 and a maximum 96. Okay. Well, you see this? This is a uh, recreation building. Odd as it is, it is. So, we are putting a water cooler in here. We will put it front and center, like that. Next, we are going to put some flower pots in here. Like so. That's all you need, right there. But, we'll be nice. We'll even give them some light in, in their rec room. This is way more lighting than I ever do in any of my builds. These dupes are getting so spoiled. Toxic must be turning over in his uh, grave right now saying, Oh my god, what are you doing? You're, you're giving them light now, Cranky? Good god, you give them massage tables and light? What's wrong with you, Cranky? What's wrong with you? What have you done with the real Cranky? This is not the Cranky I know. Maybe. Oh, look at that. Hmm. You see those icons here on the right side? We do not have a duplicate that has the skill to dig those areas out. Let's go to skills. We have not earned the points to be able to do that yet. We're really close. Look at how close their experience is. They're 471 experience away from their first skill point, And that will allow them to do the hard digging.
Now we can assign these tables. There we go. So that uh, some dupes can use those uh, tables right off the bat. Uh-oh. See? Oh, there's toxic. They don't need light. Speak of the devil. Speak of the devils. Um, Kai is asking if I am ever going to go back and revisit the potion making game. Yes, I will, Kai. Yes, I will. Absolutely. Sammy is on the way to the grocery for football snacks, but you're leaving your computer on for alert. Thank you very much. And Sammy kept hearing the EMP all night. Oh no, Sammy. Oh no. Oh no. Uh, yes, Toxic is good people. Really good streamer, friend of ours. Uh, let, let's give a shout out for Toxic Pig here. Exclamation mark pig will give you the shout out uh, command there, mods, if you want to use exclamation mark pig. You can do that too. You can do that too. I had a pre built command specifically for Toxic. Because he's that big of a VIP. Uh, cranky, at what point are you going to do O2? Because by cycle 5, there's very little O2 left in yours. Um, well, let's see. What am I? I'm at cycle 5. Oh, 6% breathability. Thank you for calling mention to it. That is a valid point. Let's, um, let's, yeah, let's, let's do something about that. Now we're at that point where it's a emergency situation because I let it get that far. That's bad on cranky. We are now going to have to fix that. Uh, I wish I had addressed that sooner. I didn't see that until just now. My apologies. Um, so what we can do is we can punch down here and free up some oxygen and let it flow straight up. And we will do that. Um, we are also going to be able to punch into here to free up some oxygen from here into our base. And we can throw in a, and I hate to use it, is a diffuser because it will produce oxygen very quickly. I hate these things. I really, really hate these things. One there. One there. Ah, <sighs> grumble. All right, priorities. Let's look at our construction. Now, because of our breathability situation, I have to up that priority level. No oh, research. Let's look at the research. Uh, did we already get there? No. We haven't done this yet. Oh, they don't have the skill for this yet. That's why. That's fair. She's got to be close to it. All right. Well, in the meantime, let's send them on a different research path because we can't do this right now. I mean, they can, but they're only going to complete the top bar, which is fine. Um, let's get them working on... Well, this will help towards bathrooms and stuff, um, and towards cleaning up water. So let's let's get them going over there for now. This is not good. This is not good. I let it go too far. Oh, Cranky, what did you do? What did you do? All right. I guess I'll dig down. Oh, 
All right, now let's 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 do a yellow alert. That's going to force them to fill this up with algae right away. Boom, started. Let's put this back to a nine, and already it's producing oxygen for us. It's not how I want it to go this way, but yeah. It is what it is. Let's fill it up. Let's make them fill that up with LJ. So we'll get started. Now let's drop it down to a nine. There we go. Now we've got oxygen being produced in our base. That that breathability, boom, it's skyrocketing. Look at that, up to 14% already. And thank you for bringing that to my attention or Val, I might've had some serious issues. I got wrapped up in teaching and didn't realize that, um, yeah, I had no oxygen generation going on. We're already up to 25%, 27%. It's climbing real fast. Well, that's, that, that's the thing with this game. It's easy to get distracted and lose focus on some things. And if you're going at the fast... Uh, movement speed I could have had duplicates die over that and I don't have any duplicates I can afford to lose so by going at the slow speed that probably saved my bacon okay breathability is at 50% but you see the power icon there is no power in the base Because we're using a lot of power right now. And out of power again. <laughs> Come on, guys. Get it together. I'm not giving them too much more. The problem is they got these tasks here that they, they've got to work on, too. So I, I've got them a little bit overwhelmed with some work here. they got to do this. they got to do this. And they still want to do this. Well, now, I think I'm going to change the level of their priorities to help with things a little bit here. We will lower the build... Lower the build and give these guys a operating option here as well. There we go. No research is focused. Okay. Let's go that way then. Uh, dupe is incoming very soon. Point four cycles.
honestly, what I should do is put a switch in here for these lights so they're not using up power when they're, this room is not being used. That is something I should do. Um, I'm not sure if I've got access to a switch at the moment. I don't think I do. I mean, it's not a lot of power, but it is power. Alright, now that the power is back up, let's pump up their building priority. Get them back to work. Alright, so, now we need to think and start addressing our oxygen and not be using these stupid diffusers. Because Cranky hates the diffusers. So, we're going to start putting out some of these terrariums. One's going to go there. Where else have I got room for one? Um, yeah, not a whole lot of places at the moment. I'll stick one there. Another one there. Um, stick one there. That's about as far as I can go with the terrariums for now. Oh, I got room up here for one. Let's put one up there. A couple up there. Why? Because they get increased um, efficiency under direct light. Okay, our research is done. Go back in here, look for another level of research. Uh, da, 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 da. That is a fast researcher. Um, let's go here. Okay, we want the priority to refill the algae uh, terrariums as soon as possible with algae and water. So I put my priority high on those because, well, it's it, it's a, a must-have. You've got to have oxygen, as we demonstrated earlier. New printables. There we go. Pause that. Go over to our pod here. Choose a blue, new blueprint. All righty. We have building and ranching. I uh, can't do digging errands. Ooh, that's a horrible one. Um, what's Catalina got? Digging, building, and tidying. Those are great. Um, okay. Um, a slow. Lo oof. It's got three bonuses, all of which are kind of not that great. Not not in regards to this duplicate skill list. And uh, a slow learner. Oof, that's horrible. That's horrible. Then we've got a researcher that has decreased germ resistance, which, you know, if they're a researcher, that shouldn't be a huge issue. They're immune to food poisoning. That's good. Uh, they can't do doctoring errands, which, you know, that's not necessarily a bad thing. We're not going to make them a doctor. And they get plus nine to science. Um, that would mean we would have a researcher on both shifts. That's not a bad thing early on. It's really not. That will allow us to have researching going all the time, not just in one shift schedule. 
which is slowing us down. So I'm actually going to take this one. Some people wouldn't, but I am. I'm going to take that one. Yoink. Okay, now let's give you a new bed. Boink, you've got a bed. Let's give you... Oh, well, you don't get a table yet because they haven't dug all this stuff up yet. Uh, let's put you on a schedule here, though. Let's keep you actually on the first schedule because we have our, our main researcher down here. So we're just going to keep you on the day schedule. That's fine. That works for me. Oh, wait. Let's give you a skill. How about that? Ooh, everybody's got skills. Nice. All right. So Max is the new one, I believe. Yes. There you go, Max. Get your get your helmet on. Give you your helmet. All right. We got our excavators able to now start digging up better stuff. Perfect. Everybody's going to get a hat now. Notice how the orange icons on the right side disappeared in our food uh, mess hall? Because now we have duplicates that are able to dig those up. They have the skills. They're able to do it. Okay, there we go. Now, the problem with having these terrariums is it creates a new work order for your duplicates. They have to go down there, fill it with algae, fill it with water, also occasionally scrub them. So this adds new errands to their workload, and you got to factor this in into your base, into your plans here a little bit. You're creating work for these people. It, it, it's not just a clean, easy solution. There is more to it than that. Okay, for the time being, I am going to disable that. I'm going to disable that. Because there's no need to use up that power. I'm also gonna I'm also gonna disable that building. I am going to disable that building. Alright, let's change the priority to eight on those. Why? Because um why is that got a priority level and the others don't? It's a copy settings. That is weird. Disable. Yes. Okay. That was really strange. Cranky didn't understand why there was a difference there. Because there shouldn't have been. Uh, still no seeds, so we can't plant any new plants yet. We've got food seeds, but we don't have um, uh, decor seeds. That's what we're missing. Now notice, I have not built a farm yet. And we now have five duplicates that we're feeding. And that food number, the K calories at the top left side of the screen, that's going to start to go down. We're not going to be able to keep 
living off of what we've got and what we're finding out there in, in the land. Eventually, we're going to have to build a farm. And the sooner that we get onto that, the better off we're going to be. Um, we're going to have to address it sooner than later. It, it's just something that we're going to have to look at. And now that we've got our research-capable uh, people doing what they can, let's click on over to this and get that started again and focused on. Because we want that insulated tile. That has to get done. Oh, remember we got a new dupe? I did not give them a priority list. See, this, you got to be on this right off the bat, and Cranky didn't. I totally flubbed it up. Let's give them some priority so that they start doing stuff. That was my bad. 100% my bad. There we go. Again, most of the stuff you're going to see and learn from Cranky is things not necessarily to do. And things to uh, look at and say, oh, okay, I saw him mess up with that. I don't want to do that. And learn from my mistakes. So you don't go through the same frustrations and same stresses. power they'll get to as soon as they're they're done their current errands and stuff it's not a huge factor for me at this moment uh, we do have uh, breathability at 96% now that is really really good Oh, we got something entombed. What just got entombed? So it just got entombed. Ah, the computer right there. The research station. Yeah, we want to fix that right away. It's interesting to watch their pathing like they walked right past a thing that needs digging with a nine priority and they didn't dig it up they're like you know what no my shift's over uh, i got other stuff to worry about There we go. Now that I've got two researchers working, uh, they're able to do both stations at the same time. However, it did trip the power because they used up a lot of power there. Now hopefully they'll get their butts over there and start running on the, on the hamster wheels. There we go. Okay, with our breathability that high, I'm going to turn these off. Save on the heat, save on the algae use. As you notice, our algae is down to 2200. It was at 38. It's down to 22 because we're using up a lot right now.
Val, I'd have to look at your priority setup and and, and see about it. Um, there, there is a rhyme and a reason to the priorities. Uh, I'll pause it here and I'll go over the priority system again. The, the first thing you got to look at is the duplicate priorities, okay? The, the ones with the double pips up, they're going to go for first. So here's my diggers. Uh, they go left to right and then in order of priority. So uh, first double pip up is going to be attacking. If they have attacking orders, they're going to deal that first. Then they're going to go all the way over to the building for me and do that first. Then they're going to go back and start looking for single pips. First single pip is digging. All right. And then after that, if they have no digging orders, they will start looking for the next level of priority and looking for tasks with that. And they'll go from left to right. Then they go according to the numbering of priorities. OK, so if they've got a task that's a six, it's higher than a five. And my fives are my digging. So they're always going to do the, the sixes before the fives, as long as that priority is higher than the the other priorities so example if you've got a digging priority of say seven but you have a build priority that's higher in the duplicates task list like mine is so notice how my dupes have a uh, building priority of two pips now if they have a dig order that's seven but they have a build priority that's out there they're going to go to the build first because that's a task that there is a high priority on. They're going to do the build task before they do the dig task, regardless of the priority level of that dig task. Unless, of course, it's like a yellow alert, something like that. Oh, good God, we have a new name, and it's a big one. All right, give me a second here there, Kai. Uh, let's see here. Do, 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 do. Who are we giving it to? Gosman, you're getting a name. Get renamed, Gosman. Did I ever play Tekken? Absolutely. Well, I played it a fair amount in the arcades when I was younger. I haven't played it in many, many years, but yes, I did. Let's look at skills. Someone has skill points. Anybody? No. All right. All right, everybody's finally got a mess table. Now let's look at our rooms. Look, we get a morale bonus from the mess hall, one from the barracks. Now we've got our massage clinic. We've got our recreation room. We've got um, a miscellaneous room. We've got a miscellaneous room. And then over here, we've got our bathroom, our latrine. So it's all coming together, folks. It's all coming together. Now, if we click on our vitals, look at our dupes. We've got a dupe that's got eight morale right now. It's all starting to stack and starting to get up there. That is really key. And look at the negative. It's only one throughout the whole line. Woohoo! Go, buddy, go. You wait. Once I build my nature reserve, I am going to stack that morale so fast, so high. I am going to re reorganize my rooms. I'm going to do all sorts of stuff. We got new things coming, folks, in next episode. Today's episode was just covering some basics. We covered electrical grid. We did uh, mess hall. We did rec room. We did massage room. We did oxygen generation. We did water port porting from the water uh, reserve that we got there to our various locations that needed it. We described and discussed the uh, reason for light. Uh, 
We discussed stress levels. We covered a lot of topics in today's episode. So those people who watch this on YouTube later, I hope you enjoyed the video and make sure you hit like and subscribe buttons there. And don't forget, go on down to the video description. You'll find our Twitch link. Pop on over, say hi, address any questions you might have to, to me, regardless of the game I might be playing. Cranky is a variety streamer. I will be streaming a multitude of various games. When you pop on in, you never know what you're going to find. It might not be oxygen not included, but feel free to ask your oxygen not included questions to me. I'm still going to answer them. Um, I have no problems with that. Don't hesitate to do it just because I'm playing something different. All right, so uh, we're going to wrap it on up here at this point. We're at that two hour mark, and then we're going to start up another stream in about two minutes after I get a refill on my tea here. And uh, so those of you who are in the stream right now, don't hesitate to stick around. This is not the end of my streaming day by any stretch. I'm just ending this particular segment so that I can keep it as encapsulated as one particular video and put it in a category by itself so that we don't have multiple games and people have to jump to different chapters. We're trying to keep things organized in this teaching series. All right, everybody, so thank you again. I appreciate you all. We're gonna save it here. Click that save button. There we go. That's been saved. Now we're going to end this and we're going to be back up with a brand new stream in a couple minutes. So hopefully you guys won't go anywhere. And normally, yes, I would raid somebody, but we're bringing another stream up in a couple of minutes. So we're not going to raid anyone. We're just going to end the stream here and we'll be back up in about two minutes, maybe less. So thank you, everybody, and I appreciate you. I uh, thank you all for being here and hanging out and addressing your questions, your concerns, and uh, being the beautiful people you are. We'll see you again in about two minutes.